What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today I wanted to do a quick tech tip on an issue that I was having with the truck, which probably all of you Ford owners have. Uh, so I actually had one of the tires plugged on the truck because I picked up a nail and my lug nuts have swollen so much that they literally had to be beaten off. That's what she said. <laughs> Please. to get the wheel off so I ended up grabbing some of these gorilla lug nuts um, I'll go ahead and link these down below the ones that I used but I grabbed 24 of these because obviously the f-150 is a six lug not a five lug um, here is the part number and they basically came like that so I'm gonna switch these out real quick and I'll just show you guys real quick how to do it because it's not gonna be fun. All right, so now that we're down here by our wheel, these are supposed to be 21 millimeter sockets. The problem with the Ford is, is that the Ford sockets is that they're aluminum coated. Um, it's like a crimp that goes over a regular lug nut. So they swell and your 21 millimeter socket no longer fits on your lug nuts. So in order to take these off, you can do one of two things. You can either take the 21 millimeter, hammer them on, and then hammer them back out, or you can use a 22 millimeter. Granted, if you have half sizes, they make 21 and a halves. Use that. If you don't, grab a 22. It'll be a little, a little loose but you'll have to hammer them out. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so now this socket is stuck in this all right, so as you can see, this lug nut is stuck inside this 22 millimeter socket. Um, we're not going to reuse these lug nuts. So what I typically do is I'll take this, put it inside a vise, snug it down a little bit, take a quarter inch extension, stick it through the socket, take a hammer, and then you can hammer the socket straight out. So I just wanted to show you guys real quick. Um, I did not do this. This was the shop that I had the tire patched at. Um, but this demonstrates how shitty this aluminum is and You can hear it rattle It's actually two pieces um, So this bottom piece is solid and then this is an aluminum coating that kind of gets crimped over it um, I'll try and show you guys if I can get this apart what it actually looks like uh, but that's the reason why you need to Pretty much as soon as you get one of these trucks, uh, get rid of these lug nuts and get something better. So this sucker right here is what causes all the problems. Uh, this is just a cheap aluminum crap that's pressed over this lug nut. This, this portion of the lug nut is solid. It's great. This is garbage. And you can't take this off without destroying it. So that's why you need to replace these with some decent lug nuts. So we can just chuck them. All right, so we have a replacement Gorilla lug nuts. Um, we can grab the 21 millimeter socket and see how these fit nicely in here, nice and uh, not stuck. Uh, so we'll go ahead and throw these on as the socket rolls away. and then we'll repeat this process uh, what 24 times so here's a quick side-by-side -side comparison on the factory lug nuts as you can see they have damage now that we've uh, taken them off we've had to hammer them out of the sockets and then here's the new gorilla lug nuts which if you would focus there we go so as you can see they still have the same beveled ends to them um, this is the, the 
Ford OEM two-piece design, which the inner lug nut is great, but the outer shell that they put it on is just this weak aluminum crap that swells up and you can't fit sockets over and it just looks like poo after a while. So that's why we've made the choice to go to this one piece Gorilla chrome plated uh, lug nut. Alright, so the last step in this process is we need to torque these lugs on, lug nuts down. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put them at 90 foot pounds. Um, Gorilla suggests between 85 and 95, so go right in the middle. Um, make sure you always use a star pattern. So basically start here, go to this one, go to this one, and then do the other three. Uh, so we'll go ahead and do that real quick. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a storm. Alright guys, so that wraps up this video. Um, I highly suggest, even if you have a brand new truck, get better lug nuts, whether it be the Gorilla ones or something off of eBay. Really the only reason why I picked the Gorilla ones, it seems like the reviews, the, um, the chrome lasts a little bit longer. And uh, so that's why I ended up getting the Gorilla ones. But the last thing you want to do is have a flat tire and not be able to take your lug nuts off. So thank you guys for watching. Thanks for subscribing and we'll catch you next time. Bye.